back again. Hey guys, Brad Wolfson here at Soulcraft Martial Arts. Uh, here with my friend Dan Greco, doing some training. And uh, working on that same series here that we've been working the last couple of weeks. Uh, I go for my sneaky Kimura setup from the side control. Partner escapes, straightens the arm. I can't finish it, whatever the case may be. Here's a couple other options for you from that position. Hope you like it, thanks. All right guys, so look, I'm back in my same side control position, all right? Real basic here, side control number one, blocking with that elbow, hand, and knee blocking the near side hip, all right? I like to splay this leg out so I got some good pressure on Dan with my chest, all right? But I know in this position, I'm not really gonna stop him from turning into me, all right? I might slow the process down, but I'm not gonna stop him from turning, all right? I may stop him from moving away from me, but I'm not gonna stop him from turning into me. Not a problem on this one. This is actually what I want. I want him to turn. So. I'm gonna let my partner feel like he can get a good underhook here. I'll maybe even open that elbow up a little bit. When he starts to turn in now, I'll come up onto the knees, use my toes, and I'll shoot that same position here. I make that little wrap here, that little oval shape with my arm, and chop in and catch it, okay? I stepped over, I did everything the same way as we have been, okay? But now, when I get over here, just don't have this tight enough or my partner's able for whatever reason to straighten his arm a little bit here and start to deal with that. Okay, can't, I can't get that key lock anymore. Maybe I didn't get over to his hip in time and he's starting to straighten and move, okay? So once we get here, I gotta act fast, all right? I'm gonna stay here. When I feel him start to straighten it, all right? I'm gonna use that outside hand that I would've brought over to the hip to hand it off here. So look, outside hand is gonna come over right at the crook of my partner's elbow here and I'm gonna push the wrist, bend his arm like an L, and put that point of his elbow into my chest. Here, I pull it up, I keep everything connected, elbows are tight, everything is tight, all right? And I pull up, and I bring it to the other side, I look to where I wanna go, okay? So I go one, two, and I rotate it to the other side, okay? I know a lot of people like to put a foot up here on the Kimura position here. What I like, maybe it's because I have long legs here, long levers, is I like to keep those adductors engaged and kind of splay my feet out a little bit. I just feel pretty stable here. So when I pass it, my partner's not gonna have much head movement. It's gonna be a little more difficult for him to escape, okay? So one more time, guys. Look, I'm in the position. All right, everything's the same. My partner turns in, I go for my move. Everything's the same. I stepped over the head. I started to block the hip here. But along the way here, I'm losing the arm. So I can struggle to bend it or I can switch. I like to switch, it's much easier, okay? One, two to the wrist, kind of hit it down and bend it, pull it into my chest, okay? Splay my legs out a little bit, using my toes, using my chest. Bring it right to the other side for the quick tap there for the Kimura, okay? Alternatively, if I start to go for this and I feel my partner start to defend, maybe it's with the gi or something, or He's just able to keep this tight and I can't move it because I'm not that strong a guy, okay? And I can't break it there for whatever reason, okay? I can always keep it tight here, step up, pull it up, and sit, okay? Keeping that thigh really strong on my partner's head, all right? Just remember our basic arm bar mechanics here. The closer my butt is to his shoulder, the tighter my arm lock is gonna be. And I keep that Leg really strong, that thigh really strong here. I don't want my partner to be able to look at me, okay? Using those adductors engaged, everything is tight. I can keep my Kimura grip as I sit back and finish it right there, okay? Let's go one more time. So I'm in position, boom, everything's there. My partner starts to escape. I let him up, I push and step over. I'm losing the position. I switch to Kimura, I can't get Kimura, I step. And I pull, okay, keep my thigh really strong here. Use my knees really tight, so there's no way that he can turn and look at me, okay? If he can't look at me, he can't turn into me. Boom, and I finish right there. Guys, thanks so much for watching our videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Visit us online, soulcraftbjj.com. Come in anytime, we have an open door, we love visitors. Uh, and check out makarabjj.com. Tons of great content on that site uh, from Master Marcio Stambowski. And uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos. Thanks so much.